Hello everyone, welcome to CyberDucky. Today, our fifth day, and before we start the fifth day, I would like to thank everyone who have subscribed to us last few videos and in even before. We have almost reached to 500 plus. Thank you very much for your support. And let's start our fifth day at CyberDucky.com. As an IT guy, we are learning network basic skills to build an IT. Um, what do you call network engineers career right and in the last video we saw how to connect a switch via console cable and explore the console types usb and db9 all those stuff and today we want to you know we will learn about uh, you know what is layer 2 or switch level what's happening and then we have a new things to do as well like we have to segregate segregate the network by department so we may need to learn what is vlan and how to create vlan so that will be the, our video today and please watch full as much as possible if you have any question please comment on that again before we start that start i would like to show um, you know what what is the benefit of becoming network engineer right so let me bring this thing so <coughs> what we are seeing is that here is a monthly sorry anyway so we saw earlier also if you are coming from an net engineer or want to become network engineer from an India, I just want to give an idea how much if you learn all the skill, how much you can earn per year. The same thing goes to Philippines as well. If you learn all the important skills from layer one, layer two, layer three, then layer four, then up to layer seven, all the network skills if you can build, you can earn this much in your country. And this is goes to Americans as well. So you are seeing at you know big number starting from you know 62k all the way to 170 sorry 153k and same thing goes in singapore as well so average this is all average based company to company things are different you can earn more than that if you are very really good at your job so these are the few companies you know they're even offering 8k per month this one for voice and wireless technology so there is a lot of scales you can you know you a lot of specializations so this is where things comes in right let's go into our today's uh, you know video so first we need to explore the idea of you know layer 2 right data link in OSI model so this is the OSI model if you don't know uh, I just want to refresh again <coughs> this is the OSI model we have seven layers in network we have physical layer data link and network transport session presentation and application so most of the time uh, we will be focusing on these in these courses because we are focusing on network level scales so these are like uh, using end user or maybe these types and this transportation is like tcp udp we, we will work on that as, uh, as well we'll just try to understand what is udp what is tcp what is the benefit of each protocols as well yeah <coughs> for today we will explore the switch part what is data link and what are the things involved so the data link comes as a, a, where the switches network switches operate right even though we have a level l3 switch but we are talking here the l2 switch which is the layer 2 switch data link so here we have something called uh, so we have a switch and nic or network cards meaning is if you have a desktop you will have a network card maybe i should show you how a network card looks right maybe i'll do it later than one so this network layer in a pc Oh, sorry uh, I forgot the screen yeah so in a PC I there is a network cable where you connect the cable right so that's called network card called NIC network interface card maybe I'll show you how it looks like so this is how the network card looks like but this is the old one called it's, it's used a different cable called coaxial cable this so these are the new modern one yeah, where you connect your RJ45 right so you can see here some of the example in IC you have server and you have PC connecting but it has to be something like this yeah so this is the wireless network card this is the cable the wired so that's why you can see how they are connected you know there is few type there is some other types now you can use usb as well if you have a laptop don't have wireless connectivity you can just use the usb nic card then you can connect so th that's what the nic the wireless card or network card means right so and the other thing i want to explain is the switch so <coughs> Uh, switch or the L3 or L2 I call it L2 but it's data link right data link okay yeah so in the switch we have ports let's say this is a four port managed switch I mean you can manage this you can create VLANs so let's say we have uh, one system connected to port 1 PC 1 then we have PC 2 then we have PC 3 
sorry okay and then we have sorry pc4 so this one this one and we want to currently if they have they're all in one network so if they ping each other they can ping and and one more thing I wanted to highlight is something called MAC address, right? So this all has a MAC layer 2 address, they call it MAC. 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 So maybe let's say this one is MAC uh, 4, MAC 3, MAC, sorry, MAC 2, MAC 1. So what's happening is um, when we have send, uh, let's say we have a table here. I think we, we already saw this in the early videos, but I'll show again. So we have ports, right? So the network called Mac table in the search, we have Mac one port one, Mac two Mac one Mac two port two Mac three port three so and so forth right so we have we will have a table like this so when the data comes from this port in a switch port one the sister switch will keep the record of this mac address same way every time a mac address comes from a port it will keep the record where it's coming from so this is how it makes the mac address table so what happens is that next time the data goes when i go to switch number three so when the data comes, it looks okay. It comes from port one, and I know already MAC one is coming from port one, and I know MAC coming MAC address three need to go to port number three. So it will not send to port number two. So that's why the MAC address table is used for. So it become like a smart switching, not like the hub. Maybe we saw earlier, I think one of the video that it it send it has a four ports. Let's say the hub has a four ports. Let's say it will send from all. It doesn't keep any. Let's say for PC one send data to PC two, sorry PC three, and PC two is connected. It will send to everybody. But in the switch, it doesn't. If for unique address, unique is called unique cost, Meaning, if PC uh, PC one to PC three, let's, let's say PC one sending to PC PC three, it will only send for these two only it will not go to pc3 but if it is a broadcast network coming from pc1 it will be sent to pc2 and pc3 right yeah so that is the one thing i want you to understand second thing uh, i want to under explain you is the vlan part so let's go back to our main topic here okay main main diagram here so we know we have uh, four system connected right so we want to create a virtual lan called vlan so let's say we want to group this one and two into one VLAN and one and three and four into one VLAN and give name to uh, this VLAN area. Maybe this one is IT, sorry, IT, this one, I don't know, HR, easy one. So that means they only communicate this, for this to only can communicate. Even if it is a broadcast sent by like what we saw here in the below one, the broadcast net traffic when the PC one send a broadcast it is goes to two and three this won't happen if we have a vlan so in this scenario in this scenario when they have broadcast let's say pc4 send a broadcast it will only go for pc3 it will not go pc2 or one so this is one of the function of vlan and there is some rules for vlan uh, each vlan has should have its own um, ip range so let's say you know we know our current vlan is one right because by default it's vlan one in a cisco i think most of the technology or most of the vendors are follow the same concept so when you open a switch n enterprise switch or any you know managed switch <coughs> by by default you will have um, what you call by default you will have vlan um, native vlan called vlan one VLAN 1 we, we, we going to sorry, VLAN 1 so we going to explore that next we're going to open our v, uh, what we call packet tracer and we going to explore the commands related to uh, VLANs how to create VLAN and how to tag a VLAN and there is one thing uh, one of the name called access 
access VLAN then you have trunk so when we are connecting two switches like say this one is switch one and sorry let's say we are connecting switch one and switch two switch two this one called trunk and if you are connecting switch uh, PC should be access access port this one is trunk port so that's the difference so when you are just trying to remember that if you are connecting uh, two switches then it will be trunk and one PC or one system connect then it should be access so the big difference is this and the access and the trunk is that in trunk you can send multiple VLAN let's say we have here VLAN 1, VLAN 10, VLAN 200 same way we have VLAN 1, VLAN 10, VLAN 200 for them to go it has to be tag so that's why the trunk so if in the interface between here and here is trunk then only this VLAN will travel and in the port access port the VLAN when they reach the port let's say it's a VLAN 10 when it's packet reach the switch will remove the VLAN tag so it's called untag most of the vendor will call this one as a tag VLAN it is untag but in Cisco they call it access port access port or access VLAN trunk trunk port or trunk VLAN and trunk VLAN means you are typically sending the VLAN uh, to the other side so these are the very important things let's see in practical i think this video will be a little bit longer so please bear with me and please watch full video don't i mean if you if you want to watch increase the speed and watch yeah so let's look at the switch so today we're not going to do trunking i'm not going to connect two, two switches because i want to do it in the next video so uh, we're going to create a few vlans which we saw in our whiteboard uh, let me go up Yeah, so they want to create one, two, three, four, five VLANs. Sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna create uh, five VLANs. Let's open the switch, CLI. Yeah, I hope you can see. Okay, so before we start, I just wanna show you a few things. So now we are in switch one and we are in user mode, I think. Uh, show. Uh, okay, so we are limited to certain things here. You can show IP. Or the C only. So we are in uh, very low privilege mode. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I tried to clear, but there is no command. I forgot. Because it's a not Linux anyway, so we are in a very low privilege mode. So we don't, we cannot do anything for that. We need to go to enable mode. When you type en and press tab, always it gives what is the full command. So enable, we are in enable level. Now we have more. Uh, when you type show, sorry, when you type question mark, you get more. Inf you know, uh, commands we can do. You can write. You can save the configuration here. When you write and you can a lot of things you can do in this enable command then something called config mode config terminal so here you you will do a lot of configuration so when you press here you see a lot of uh, more commands keep coming so if you want to if the configuration mode if you want to change a lot of configuration you need to be configuration mode so then only you can do changes to the existing configuration of the switch right so here maybe you cannot do a lot of show but example if I say show run it won't understand right so but if you do if you put do show run it, it will give you what is the com uh, configuration available so again we go to EN exit show VLAN so this is the first command we are learning here which is show command and okay, let me so you see VLAN 1 is a default by default you have all the interface in the one VLAN let's create a VLAN so to create VLAN you need to type so let's try whether we can create VLAN here is again you know it's got stuck because there is no command called VLAN here so that's why this keep looking for the DNS I need to disable that okay yeah so that's fine so for that you need to go to config now we can do is type VLAN. So see, when I type WL and press tab, it comes up. Then you put a question mark. It says IDs. So basically, you, each ID is one VLAN. So you can create up to thousand five. 
So you can print up to 1005. So let's say VLAN, you know, start from 10, right? Okay, if 10, so we are already inside the VLAN 10. We can do is, we can use no, we can do remote span and we can do name. So these are the things we want to do it now. So no, no is used to cancel things. So you can see the no name, let's say you have all the name you want to change, you can do that. Remote span not coming to our topic today. We are not going to do that. So we just need to name this. So we will name this as a sales. I'll put it in capital. Sales. So VLAN 10 is sales, right? Now exit. Oh, VLAN 11. Name. We give a name to this one. Then we type M A R K T I N G. Oh, I think I forgot the E. Marketing. Exit. Sorry. Exit again. VLAN 12. This time we put name of IT. Exit VLAN 13 name HR. Exit VLAN uh, 14. just leads to time so we save the configuration then we show show uh, VLAN right so we have uh, created one two three four five VLANs but if you see here all empty there is no any uh, interfaces member so let's see how to member interface okay Sh before that we see what are the interface we have show interface status so we have connected one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six is connected to the printer. I think. How I will check. Five is connected to the printer. So let me move the printer to seven. So we have only four system. I add one more system so that we can put each on each VLAN. Uh, okay. By right, I think we should create one something called wireless. Then we can put the wireless also inside. Anyway, we will do it the one next time. Five. So we're gonna create the five. Uh, we already created. We're gonna put each of them in a separate VLAN, each system. Then we try to see whether they can reach each other. Okay. So we need to go again config mode conf t and interface. So we need to start from interface one. So interface one, we will put VLAN ten. Then you know by order, right? Yeah. Okay, interface gig zero slash one switch mode access. So we are telling to the switch now this interface one gig will be the access mode. It's not gonna connect to any other switch, it's gonna connect to a endpoint system with a printer or you know multifunctional like a copier printer kind of a thing or maybe PC or laptop, something like that. Then we say switch access. Okay, when you put access then it comes VLAN. Right, so we need to get the VLAN ID. VLAN 10, right? Okay, put VLAN 10. Okay. So we put this one as a sales. So I will just rename this one to sales so that we know this is sales. It's PC 1. Okay. So now, do you think we can access the printer? So let's see, we can ping printer. What is the IP of the printer? I should give the printer IP is 5. Let's see whether it can ping. Then 192.168.0.5. Scan. What is connected to? Let me see where it's connected. It was able to connect. Now it cannot ping. Let's see. I think I think different switch was connected. I think one number one. Okay, I just corrected that. Okay, good. So now it's gonna reach. So because it's isolated, but if we create one more PC for system, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's connected. I want this to eight. So what I'll do, just to show something, I put one more system, and I'm gonna make it sales 
PC2, right? So I'm going to connect to the interface 2. And I'm going to give an IP address. I think we have up to 7 given. So we have, we, we, did you notice there is a problem that I need to remember what kind of IPs I have given, all this. So we're going to solve that. So when now we have a DHCP server is up and running, we don't need to, this, this server is running. I don't remember all this. They will be getting their own um, IP. I just want to give it, just to keep the network clean. So command prompt ping 192.168.0.5. I can ping, but one I cannot, one can, sorry. What is the IP of this system? Zero one. Did I? Oh, I know what is a mistake. It should be fast Ethernet, not gigabit internet. So I see I did a mistake because I use gigabit. It's not a gigabit switch, it's a fast Ethernet switch. Ah, mistake. Interface fast zero slash one switch port mode access switch port okay let's do one trick uh we know sales pc2 can ping right say repeat they have cannot repeat uh. count okay uh when i do i think i should have here and thousand so it's gonna ping thousand times so when we change this interface one you will see it will automatically disable okay so switch port access Switch port mode, access OK, access VLAN. My mistake. Okay, VLAN 10. The moment we put 10, I think it won't get any reply. See, timeout. So since we moved to a different VLAN, our interface 1, right? So no longer ping goes. And if you go to uh, show VLAN command, sorry, uh, show VLAN, first we can see there is a two interfaces in the VLAN 10 fast ethernet and gig one gig one was a mistake then if you do show mac address mac address table we are seeing this only this one in the fast ethernet i should see this one also just try to ping somebody and see what how our mac address okay fine so now you see vlan 1 is interface 1 vlan 10 is coming from one so we know we correctly configured with two places we can see one is here so if you see the mac address of the pc1 on interface 10 and it's, it shows vlan 10 and another place is show vlan command it shows here the interface 1 so let's go and move um, interface 2 also to vlan 10 conf t interface fast 0 to switch mode access access switch access vlan 10 the moment we enter vlan 10 you will see the ping wanna get reply from ping from here because they are all in our same vlan i think i should get by now i don't know why it's taking time Let's double check. Mm -hmm. Show, yeah, see, it's getting already. Show VLAN brief. So we have two VLANs in two interface in VLAN 10. They're able to communicate. Then we can do show MAC address table. We are seeing both of them are communicating. I mean, it's in a correct VLAN. So this is a good enough evidence to prove, right? So just like that, we're going to change others also. Uh, we did two. Uh, config t anyway so let's stop this but we cannot ping anymore 5 which is the printer so that means now we i hope you understand there is a new problems coming to us for us to solve one is man managing ip address so we will talk about that eventually the ip range segmentation second our segmentation we are doing just a vlan we are not um, segmented through ip so in the future videos what i'm gonna we're gonna learn how about ip address then we will assign um, vlan uh, ip address for these vlans as well um uh, vlans let's say show show VLAN. so we're going to learn to segregate segregate sorry segregate this vlan by ip meaning to say 
sales will have their own IP address, marketing will have their own IP address, IT will have their own IP address, HR will have their own IP address, so production will have their own IP address. So based on that, they're going to have a common printer, and we may create one more called wireless. I think we just create one more VLAN wireless. Um, config T interface. Sorry, um, VLAN, VLAN 101. Okay, uh, name uh, Wi Fi network. Right? Yeah, so now show VLAN. Yeah, so we have a Wi-Fi network. So Wi-Fi network will have its own IP address. Then we can we can see how to control them in and outgoing. You know, eventually if we have any firewall, maybe we will see how we can control them through firewall. Hopefully, we in this case we have a lot of long to go. Anyway, so I hope you understand what we did. To catch up, we create a VLAN to uh, using command called VLAN. Um, then the VLAN ID. Then we give a name. Then we segregated them by putting a you know interface level but we had few problems to solve we're going to solve in the next video which is our ip managing problem and segmenting each uh, vlan through ip address so every individual vlan they should have their own ip so that is the best way to do any you know network you know design that is the principle that each vlan got its own um, network range right so I don't want to bore you more than this. I think we have talked so much today. I hope you guys understand what you are doing. Uh, later, I think we, the next video we'll be doing more. I think, uh, let me see if I can draw something. Okay. So this is our sales. Maybe we can give color. I don't know, fill color. This one maybe our IT. Outline, fill color, okay. this is our sales okay so we're going to do some segregation like this in the next video okay understand so let's let's end up end here and please thank you very much for your time again please uh, subscribe to the channel and watch the videos if you have any questions please put in the comment so that i can help you to learn so i can guide you whenever you start so please do that comment any questions i try to respond and thank you for your time and i really appreciate every uh, subscription if you're not subscribed please subscribe thank you